In his push to reopen the country, the president is criticizing one of his own experts, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Weijia Zhang is at the White House for us. Weijia, good morning. What does the president have to say? Good morning, Tony, and good morning to everybody. President Trump continues to push the country to quickly bounce back and says he does not consider that happening without reopening schools, claiming the virus has had very little impact on young people. But you're right. His own top health experts disagree. Look, he wants to play all sides of the equation. President Trump pushed back against the warning Dr. Anthony Fauci delivered at a Senate hearing the day before. There is a real risk that you will trigger an outbreak that you may not be able to control. We don't know everything about this virus, and we really better be very careful, particularly when it comes to children. It's I was different. surprised by his answer, actually, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, it's just, to me, it's not an acceptable answer, especially when it comes to schools. But a new CBS News poll finds that most Americans trust Dr. Fauci, though his unfavorable rating among conservatives has increased since April. The country needs guidance of the nation's best medical and scientific experts. These literally are matters of life and of death. As Democrats demand more guidance from the federal government, today the administration's former top vaccine researcher, Rick Bright, will testify before a House committee that if the response is not ramped up, 2020 will be the darkest winter in modern history. Bright filed a whistleblower complaint claiming he was removed from his position because he pushed back against the administration's embrace of hydroxychloroquine. CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell interviewed Bright and asked him about the president's accusation that Bright is a disgruntled employee. I am not disgruntled. I am frustrated at the lack of leadership. I am frustrated at the lack of urgency to get a head start on developing life-saving tools for Americans. I'm frustrated at our inability to be heard as scientists. As the number of virus infections continues to rise, so too does the number of Americans who have lost their jobs, struggling with economic hardship. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell warned of lasting damage to the economy if Congress doesn't pass additional stimulus measures. The scope and speed of this downturn are without modern precedent, significantly worse than any recession since World War II. House Democrats have already put forward another $3 trillion stimulus plan, but Republicans have already said it is dead on arrival. This afternoon, President Trump will visit a PPE distribution facility in Allentown, Pennsylvania. He plans to announce a new initiative to replenish the national stockpile by the fall. Anthony? Weijia, thank you.